The lithium project will utilize conventional open pit mining methods involving drill, blast, load, and haul operations due to the shallow nature of the ore body. Apart from the Fantiman municipality where huge quantities of lithium have been discovered, the Kufi district is being explored by several mining companies for lithium deposits. Databases manager of the company, Justice Amekudi says the company has the intention to explore the signatures of low elements such as lithium identified in the area and acknowledge them as economically viable. Lithium Resources Ghana Limited is a, a joint venture between two companies. One company is the CAA money from UK and then we have the Empire in Ghana. So right from the beginning of the company, they are joint venture. And that is cascading down all the processes of things we do. And then the third, the third uh, approach is we don't want to take lithium out of this country in its raw state. So we also have a third approach where we we'll, we'll bring local content and the government in the construction of a refinery to, to convert the lithium material into a concentrate then wherever we have to send it again, that will still have to be agreed between us and the government. Um, currently, we're looking at uh, a possible place in Takradi area. Economically, that's where the industry is more favorable to be cited. So we are still on that as well. We've been, we've been shown places, so we are still doing our due diligence on those locations. Justice Amekudji also mentioned that the company, although in its early stages, has brought several benefits to the community. Dominic Apedo, who works with the Lithium Resources Ghana Limited, highlighted some of the benefits the catchment areas of the company have had. We started operation for six months now. The community under which our catchment area, uh, which starts all the way from uh, Otuom, uh, Asamai, and then uh, Abasa precisely have benefited in an enormous way. Uh, Asamai, for example, when we came here, there's no access route. We've tried to create an access route for the community. We are in the process of getting them trying to upgrade the, the transformer, which has a, a capacity of 50 kV. We're trying to upgrade it to 300 kV which the community will benefit, and in that case, lithium as well. Then when we go to uh, Abasa, uh, we have a plan of helping the Abasa, Enya Abasa Health Center. We've asked them to give us a list of things that are pressing, which they wanted us to help them with. Some of the chiefs have been appealing to government to properly license the company so it can operate effectively. Richard Kujinyako for Joy News. Thank you.